Yeah, it's eating there. It's leftovers. Muscles. Oh, this is fueling. It's fueling the, uh... You all right? <laughs> This episode of Adventure Prone is sponsored by Iron and Air Magazine. some bristle cone pines which I thought we missed because I thought they were like in the Great Basin National Park in Nevada but just past that sign there so apparently it's also an area where they grow I guess I don't know are these them is that one it's the oldest living thing one of the oldest living in the in the world in the world in the world but uh they're like some of them are as old as like 5,000 years or something which is I don't know kind of unfathomable for a living thing so, you know, being the avid hikers and outdoorsmen that we are, Make sure you we're gonna walk. Shoes. We're gonna walk like at least nearly 100 yards. At least 100 yards down this trail. Hopefully, you get a. Uh... Well, I guess we're hoping to encounter a scenic vista. As you can see, this is a giant valley. So, you know, on camera, it just sort of looks like you're looking at a postcard, and you know, probably doesn't look that meaningful, but. That's pretty cool. So I'm guessing these are the bristlecone pine. This one's probably like 5,000 years. Those probably are like 2,000. You know, a couple. Bristly yeah. You can tell from the bristles. In my time as a biologist, you know. We you were, ate a lot of plants? You know, we harvested the bristlecone pines for their, their wisdom in regards to Mormons. Because they're the only living uh, organism that can put up with a ridiculous religion. And there goes our Mormon, Mormon. viewer base. <laughs> All 12 of them. All 12 of the Mormons. We're uh, sitting off the side of the road in awfully temperate Arizona because uh, we actually just got rained on and uh, ran off the side of the road and uh, threw on some rain gear and but uh, we're trying to make it to the Grand Canyon but the storm just seems to be following us and of all places Arizona You can't get too much more fucking scenic than a goddamn rainbow over the goddamn Grand Canyon. <laughs> Let's go. We paid $12 to get in here. George, you want to do some quick math on how many miles $12 will take us? 140. Wow, dude. Grand Canyon. I'm really glad I came out here. That really makes me appreciate the wondrous nature of water cutting through rock over long periods of time. Our first two takes had too much profanity. It's true. We were cursing a lot. The cursing really like the jalapenos of language. It really adds something. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to drive out here on motorcycles 
and not come to the Grand Canyon. George has been here before, I have not. Well, it's cool, but I've seen so much fucking scenery. Scenery is great. But like, what do you do with it? I can't touch it. You can't really touch it. It won't have sex with me. It's gonna be like another view on it or something. I, think it w I feel like we're doing it a disservice by looking at like one vantage point. Oh, oh! Is it littering if it's biodegradable? Wow, it's quite the view. I gotta crawl up there too now. Well, I've got a handful of kettle, dude. I've got a camera and some fucking potato chips. Throw the camera. Throw the camera. Uh, uh. I'm gonna put this down for a second. Really burn all that shit on the way out. Oh, you wish you could see this America. Oh. Don't you? Uh. <laughs>